Hey subbies, today I am going to be bringing you guys a review on Sedona Lace. I have had these brushes for like maybe the last three weeks, almost a month probably by now. And I bought the brush set with the roll and I also bought a blush set. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started. Um, first I'm going to show you guys the belt that I got. It's kind of dirty. I have some other brushes in here. But um, this is what the, the roll looks like, the belt roll. And I love it because it has, you know, various different pockets. So I can fit my Sedona lace brushes in here. I can fit my MAC brushes in here. Essence of Beauty. Like all of my brushes can fit in here. And I love it. And some of the pockets are, she has a lot of big pockets in here for you. So even your smaller brushes, you can fit like three or four in like some of them. So I really, really, really like that feature. And then here you have your adjustable waist strap and it has a little fasten here and then you can unfasten it so it fits around me um depending on i guess i can stand up and kind of show you guys here if i can back up and get myself right okay so Let's see, I have it all the way to the end right now. So I'll hook it up and then let me see, let me see where, oh, here we go, okay. So it's kind of like droopy on me, but I guess you don't want it to be too tight, but this is the strap all the way. So if you guys, um can I guess kind of go off of my size and then determine if you would want to purchase this, um, um, I'm sorry, this makeup roll here. And then I know that they have extenders, so you can always buy an extender for your brush roll. So onto the brushes. I love my Sedona Lace brushes. Overall, each brush is soft, it's very um, durable, and they remind me of the MAC brushes. And I think that's another reason why I like them as well. But like I said, all of the brushes are really, really, really soft. You get the fan brush, and I really, really love this brush. This is my first fan brush, and I use this on um, highlighting my cheekbones with like bronzer and stuff like that. So I love this brush. Love, love, love. Then the next one I have is a flat top buffer brush. And this is the joy of my life. This brush has brought miracles into my life and it has definitely stepped up my makeup game. I use this brush to buff in my concealer and I also use it to um, put on my foundation and buff it in. I use it for powder foundation which is what I use because I like a matte face because I have oily skin. So it's good with the concealer, liquids, and all types of stuff like that. Now, I have a synthetic haired brush here. And one of them came in the set with the brushes and one of them was free. So I have two synthetic brushes. And I use these brushes for concealer as well. I tend to use it mostly like up under my eye area. And then like if I have spots on my face that I want to conceal. Then here is a tulip brush. I love this tulip brush. Plus I think it's so cute. I think that brush is so cute. I don't know why I think a tulip brush is cute, but I do. And um, I really, really like this brush for my contouring and my highlighting because it has that pointy tulip shape. So it's really gonna allow you to get into, you know, where you wanna place the color. So you have some precision, but then it's also going to blend it out and blend it in very well for you. Then I have the tapered blending brush, which is like, I have my MAC brush here. So, which is like the MAC brush. This is the Sedona Lace, this is the MAC brush here. So they're kind of the same brushes, but once again, Sedona Lace has like that tulip shape to this brush here, that tulip shape to it. And um, 
really I like using these brushes for two different things. I'll use the MAC brush up above my crease to get that airbrush look. And then for this brush, it, I kind of almost use it like another crease brush in a sense because it does have the tulip shape, but it still blends the colors out really, really, really well. Then I have my angled brush, which I use for my eyeliner. And this brush is my favorite angled brush now. I used to work with this brush, my MAC 208 brush, which I still like, but I like the Sedona Lace brush better. For some reason, I just have better control with it. And then also, if you guys can notice, the, um, I don't know if you guys can really tell, what I'm trying to show you guys but the Mac brush is a little bit thicker than the Sedona lace brush so I think that's another reason why I like it too because you can really really you can really build with the Sedona lace brush rather than the Mac brush it's kind of medium size and then I like the thinner one because I can just build my um, eyeliner then this brush, I forget what the name of it is that she called it, but it's the face brush number five. And I use this for my cheeks to put on my blush. And it's perfect because it's circular, domed shaped. So it just really sits on the cheeks really well right there. And then I just go in circular motions around and up. Love, love, love. Now, one thing that I am really excited about that she had put in her brush kit was the angled eyeliner brush. This brush here is like a miracle to so many makeup artists because it allows you to be able to place the eyeliner on yourself and on your clients easily. It's much, much easier than the traditional straight brush because if you notice, I can rest my hand comfortably and then just put on the liner. Very smooth and very easy. It's very, very easy. And also there's a top that comes on this brush. So I would definitely recommend keeping that. And also there are clear tops that come with the fan brush and the tulip brush. So you can keep those so that you can keep your shape. And then the eyebrow brush. So it has a little brush on the end there. And then it has a brow filler right here now I haven't used the brow filler side just because I don't tend to fill in my brows that way I just use my Mac pencil and that's it so I haven't used this side yet but when I do I will let you guys know how it works but um just from touch it's a little more it's not as soft but I don't think it's supposed to be for eyebrows anyway but um yeah, so those are my brushes. And then last but not least, I have the blush set that came like this. And then when you open it up, there are a plethora of colors in here, like pinky, orangey colors, some neutral colors. This one in the corner right here is my absolute favorite out of the entire bunch, just because I can put it on and it looks really, really, really natural. So this is my favorite blush right now like this is a December favorite for me <laughs> so the only thing I can say that I do not like about this is that some of the colors are like frosty like I don't know if you guys can really tell because my webcam isn't going to pick it up as well as my camera would but I'm not a fan of any of the frosty colors at all at all but the matte colors and then like this gold down here this bronzy color, that's pretty because it's supposed to have sparkle. But um, yeah, I love the blushes. Majority of the blushes, I love them. The brushes and the um belt, absolutely love. So I definitely recommend Sedona Lace if you are looking for some great quality brushes and not looking to spend an arm and a leg. Um, the brushes and the roll were $79, I believe. So I would definitely say get on that. So if you guys enjoyed this review, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.